But was the president aware that Lieutenant General Michael Flynn was acting as a foreign agent when he appointed him to be the national security advisor? Uh, I don't believe that that was known. But a report published by the Associated Press on Friday says Trump transition attorneys, including now White House counsel Don McGahn, did know Flynn, quote, might need to register with the government. Flynn ended up filing his paperwork on Tuesday. It was for $530,000 worth of lobbying work he and his now shuttered firm did during the presidential campaign for a Netherlands-based company. According to the filings, the work, quote, could be construed to have principally benefited the Republic of Turkey. The AP reports Flynn's attorney told transition lawyers about the potential filing before the inauguration. I don't think it should be a shock to anybody that if you're asked a government lawyer uh, what you should do in your private capacity as a citizen, they're going to tell you you should consult uh, experts in that area to, to determine what you should or should not do. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said during Friday's briefing that President Trump didn't know Flynn might need to register as a foreign agent. But news of Flynn's lobbying work was reported in November. Do you have an attorney calling the transition saying that no, no, no. a person who is in line to be the national security advisor may need to register as a foreign agent, and that doesn't raise a no, red flag? It, it's not a question of raising a red flag, John. It's a question of whether or not they gave them the advice that they're supposed to. Does this raise concerns that there may be other members of this administration or other members that served in the transition that were or are currently lobbying on behalf of foreign governments right now that may be advising the President of the United States? No, no, look, I think we, we trust people to fill out the appropriate forms that they need to. This president, when it comes to ethics, when it comes to lobbying, he instituted a five-year ban. He has been very committed to making sure that we institute high standards here and that we're held to them.